I will fail my way to success. Part of the reason why we have to continue to work on ourselves and surround ourselves with quality people is because you're going to have a lot of failures. You're going to have a lot of disappointments. Maya Angelou said, and it's true, I found it in my case, that most people go so far in life and then they pog. They stop dead in their tracks. Why? Because they take some hits. When you have a goal and dream, you will have tribulations. Things are going to happen to you. I was in pursuit of my dream, and all of a sudden, whoa, I got hit. And life staggered me, and I popped. And somebody said that life is like an onion. You have to peel it one layer at a time. And sometimes you cry. Life's going to happen to you when you have a dream. You're going to get slapped around. And don't take it personal. Don't ask, why did this have to happen to me? It's called life. Suck it up and move on. Get over it. When things go wrong, don't go with them. When you're working on a business deal, you're counting on some money. Someone said you will get the loan and it falls through. You have an event and the people that you thought would be there and support you, they don't come through. Or someone turns against you or you get ripped off. It's going to happen to you. It's not personal. It's going to happen to everybody. It does. Eight out of ten millionaires have been financially bankrupt. Walt Disney had seven, he filed bankruptcy seven times and had two nervous breakdowns. It's called life. Take ownership for your life. Nobody can live your dream for you but you. Nobody's going to take care of your business like you. Stop coming up with excuses. Don't give yourself permission to continue to live a small life. You can't fit a big dream into a small life. Give yourself permission to go for it, to test yourself, to challenge yourself, to live full. The reason you're here is because there's something in you that says, I can do more. This just can't be it. There's something in you, there's a calling on your life. There's something in your heart that costs you to get dressed and, and spend the money to go to seminar after seminar and listen to message after message and speaker after speaker. Because there's something in you that tells you this is not it for you. You have not peaked here. There's more in you that you are expressing. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor is in the heart of mankind what's in store for you if you challenge yourself, if you persist and persevere, if you take ownership for your life. George Bernard Shaw said the people that make it in this life, they look around for the circumstances that they want, and if they can't find them, they create them. Create what you want. You have the power in you to do the more than you could ever begin to imagine, to control your destiny, to make a difference in our children, to make a difference on the planet, to make an impact. It's hard when you're working on a job for 20 years, 30 years, give them some good years, and then they come in and tell you, We've downsized. In other words, you're fired. And then you have to start all over again. It's hard. It's not fair when people are going up against that kind of stuff to tell them just think positive and be enthusiastic and everything will work out all right. Ain't that kind of party. It's hard. Life will put some knots on your head. If you ever go through something, hold your head up. If you ever make a mistake, hold your head up. If you ever do something and everything goes wrong, life catch you on the blind side, hold your head up. It's not over. You have something special. You have greatness within you. What you're doing is different. You represent only 2% of the planet. One great American said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the still calm of utopia. I will never cow before the master, nor been to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. Your unquenching desire, an uncommon desire to manifest your greatness. 